Hello, everyone. This game I can't remember the name of because I am tired as heck. Space. I think it's worse than death. Uh, side scrolling horror game. Lots of story. Jesus, it's loud! What happened? Why happened? Why did it minimise? <laughs> oh, I'm good at this. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a while to actually find the options because it just kind of throws you in and starts shouting at you. Uh, yeah, I'm playing this with a controller. Way Means I can get comfy. Uh, automatic checkpoints, unlimited lives. Three lives, losing all three lives means you start over. Friends are getting hard difficult to unlock this. Nah, we'll just stick to normal, I think. No here for a challenge, I'm here for the story. Friday, March 22nd, 1996, the weekend of the high school reunion. Back in our tiny town in the middle of nowhere. I remember how anxious I was about it all. Been so long since I'd last seen you, Flynn. We were inseparable once. Inseparable once. That was before Grace, of course. Before the accident. Thought I could finally move on from that event, but I had no idea just how much things would change. Drive from the city feels longer every time. My legs are aching. Getting so cold, I can't believe it's snowing again. It's already spring. I can't... Ah, oh, yeah, I read that right. The same was like a beacon in this tiny town. Even as a teenager, I found it comforting. Is that little Holly? Little Holly, come on Sam. I'm almost 30 now. My word, it's been a while. You made it back for the reunion after all, did you? Yeah, that's right. I have to believe it's been this long. Believe it's been this long. Well, it's, it's good to see you back, Holly. Glad to see you go in before the weather gets worse. Feck off, mouse. Anyway, enough about all that. What can I get you in this one? What can I get you? This one's on me. Burr? Or a whiskey or a wine? Personally, I'd like a beer. Hard to beat a beer after a long day. He's in the back at his usual table. Thanks, Sam. Everyone else down sure drank a lot when I lived here. I wish Flynn had left this place after school. Maybe things would have been different. Oh wow. Hi Flynn. That's it. Seriously. Your best friend in the whole world gets a hey. Come on. Have a seat. Well now if you're going to be like a dick. Can't believe this is still here. Some kind of bear hunting arcade game. No surprise here. Top three high scores are some of the local jerks. Jack of course has the top score. Burr. Been a while since we've done this, you know. Just sat down together probably since... Since just before Grace died. Yeah. Well, as much as I don't want to go to this reunion... It's nice to talk face to face, to face instead of over the phone. Yeah. I know you've got a lot to think about already, but well, I kind of want to talk to you about something. Well, look who it is back there, back here. Ah, great, just what we needed. You two got some nerve showing your face here again. God, Jack, you smell like a distillery. Have you been at it all day? You shut your mouth, I'm not here to talk to you, I'm here to talk to this piece of garbage. Come on, Jack, leave us alone. Just here for the reunion, same as you. Well, I, I'm sure everyone is going to be real glad to see you both tomorrow. The reunion without its homecoming queen. What the hell did we talk about? Sit down. See you tomorrow, Flynn. Try not to cry too much when you see Grace's memorial. Eddie has they changed it all. Don't listen to him. He's trying to rail you up. What happened to Grace wasn't your fault. I know. What What was it you wanted to talk about? You know, before. Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it. There'll be another time. Will there? I. Meaning this is a horror game. Are you sure about that? 
skirt, 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 skirt. I couldn't sleep at all at the motel. I feel like hot garbage. Better get moving. Flynn's probably waiting up ahead. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Best friend of the whole world gets a hay. Come on, let's get this over away. How's your leg? Cold makes it feel worse. I wouldn't be running anywhere, that's for sure, but I can walk. That's good. Let's just go make our token appearance, stay for an hour, and then beat it. Okay, you're right. Thanks, Holly. Seems like a bit much. Candles make... Candles make this more like a wake than a reunion. Oh god, Flynn, I'm, I'm sorry. What a stupid thing to say. I know you didn't mean it, but... Oh, hold on. So there was a way to go back here. I, I skipped that by accident, sorry. Um... I don't know how we got away with that as much as we did. Remember we tried to cook hot dogs in an old fire pit and I almost burned a bush down? God, I thought we were going to go to jail. Good times back then. Wow, it's been a long time. Ten years since we left this place. Doesn't really look any different though, does it? Feels smaller somehow. Photo of Jack when he's on the basketball team. Didn't he have like two schools offering him scholarships? Yeah, I think so. But he screwed it all up, drinking all the time, that sort of thing. Even heard he was into drugs. After the accident. The old skill crest. Same as always. Didn't that what I mean? Never run away from another run from your dreams or something like that? You remember that? I'll be honest, never paid much attention. I know we spent a lot of time running from classes though. Come on, I think we were only mildly bad students for maybe one semester. Yeah, you're right. Kind of a bunch of dorks. Tapestry. Don't remember there being so many so many rules in the school code of conduct. Probably because morons like Jack did so many stupid things they had to add more. That's a very good point. Oh no, Jack wasn't kidding. School really did put up a memorial for Grace. Flynn, don't look. Told you. Whole town blames me for what happened. It's like they're rubbing it in my face. We've talked about this. You need to stop saying that. Guess back for and lots of folks signed in already. Don't want to sign in. Don't want anyone to remember I was here. Sorry, fun. Probably isn't making things easier. It's okay, but let's just go ahead, okay? What? Music and art classes. Uh, okay. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Here we go. Why do I smell fire? Hmm. It's busy in here. Not even bad weather kept people away. Holly, I, I don't think I can do this. Ow, 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 actually, I. Ooh, ee, ah, ee, 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 ooh, 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 ah. Come on, you'll be okay. We're only staying for an hour, remember? I, th I think I'm just going to the bathroom. Don't take too long. So, in exactly 59 minutes, everything's going to shit. Let's so we'll make the rounds. And law, and law. A bunch of cupcakes and treats, themed after the school's hockey team. I think I'll skip the blue snack for now. And law. Vivian. Vivian Danvers. Holly. Holy shit. So good to see you. How are you? Okay, it's been a while. Sure has. Did you move to the city right after school? That's right. Well, did you hear that? Come on, Holly. You're looking at Bruce Bay's top local reporter. I keep tabs on everyone. Of course, of course. Does that mean you took over the paper from your dad? You bet. When he retired, I stepped up. I've been modernising it too. We even have a website. Well, going really high tech now. That'll be good for the town. What about your sister? Local people run by twins would be pretty cool. Well, Vanessa is usually too busy flirting with someone to help with the paper. 
But you? Did you go off to college then? University. I'm a physiotherapist now. I mainly treat sports injuries. No shit, that's awesome. Must be in great shape. Uh, I run about three times a week, so I suppose so. Well, that is at least three times more than Vanessa or I do, that's for sure. Probably get going. Nice to see you, Vivian. Take care. Hi, bud. Mr. Sartain, right, from chemistry? Huh? Uh, Holly, innit? Yeah, that's right. I you in grade 12. Have you been Mr. Sartain? It's just Dave now. School was a long time ago. Eh, okay. I'll be honest. I can only think of you as Mr. Sartain even all these years later. I see. Well, I guess it's different for everyone. Vanessa never had any problem using my given name. Vanessa? Uh, well, anyway, I most remember not being great in your class. I had a hard time with chemistry. Uh, I recall that as well. Do you do you have to go somewhere? Do you look very distracted? Okay, yes, yes, I'm just uh, looking out for someone. No problem, I'll leave you to it. Hi, Carol. Oh my god. Holly, is it really you? Yeah, it's me. Been a long time, hasn't it? I'll say. Last time I saw you was right before graduation. You just disappeared after that. I moved to the city to head off to university. Well, shit, so. What about, you know? Flynn, of course. Couldn't believe it when you found out he was engaged to, uh, you know who. To Grace. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I thought you two were a thing. Huh? No, no, it wasn't like that. We were, I mean, we were just friends. That's too bad. He always seems really close. Wouldn't happen to be here, would he? He just went to the men's room, I think. Hope he comes back. I always remember he was pretty handsome. Replica hockey jersey celebrating the season when the school's team won the Inner County Championship. We weren't that excited about the game, games, but I remember Flynn, Grace and Carol and a whole bunch of us sneaking beers to the matches. Bay A. Vanessa? Yeah? Uh, it's Holly. Oh, so it is. How's it going? Good? You busy? Just wanted to say hi. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Well, yes, in fact. I have a bit of an issue. Okay. Do you remember Mr. Sartain? Grade 12 kid? I just talked to him. Right, that's him. Anyway, he was super hot. Okay. Well, I maybe, maybe suggest that we catch up later. You know, after this thing... After this thing I have to take care of. Well, turns out... He hasn't exactly been honest with me. The photos he sends me are pretty old. I'm not following here. Now he just looks like my dad. It wasn't like that back in school. I see what you mean. Right, so an awkward situation and... Well, there's no point in telling you about this, is there? Anyway, after cut the shot, I need to uh, use the washroom. Vanessa, great catching up with you. It take forever. I'm gonna go get a drink. Don't know much more of this I can take. Maybe I'll just go look for him in the hallway. Flynn? Ew. Something dripping for the ceil ceiling. Even Sam's bar is better maintained in this school. Collection of notices about after school events, schedule changes, and the like. Official note about what to do if any of the roads get washed out, or if any student. Or if a student sees any kind of flooding. One of the downsides of the town that was built next to a lake and two rivers. I mean, I was. That's pretty much my town. It does flood a lot, so. But it's not like we can't manage it, it's just this. Because we're all hills, sometimes the whole town centre floods. But it's like, people just go, eh, and drive around it. <laughs> Probably fit in here if I had to. Oh, great. Hint, hint, you're going to have to hide. It's an old chemistry lab. How a soap molecule works. I think this was the least, the last concept I properly understood. I was hopeless. Sartain's desk, he's been teaching you for almost 20 years. 
no idea he and Vanessa were involved. Changes have a look at both of them, really. Can't believe they kept a secret for so long. Blackboard stole his notes from classes, okay. Rust and oxidization. I was never great at chemistry. Vanessa always helped me when I got stuck. Ah. Sorry, my eye is really burning and the smell of fire is concerning. Rather than playing game, I should probably look at it back in a second. Well, I found out what it is. It's fine. It's a faded poster and periodic table of elements. You can still see some faint marks of students messed around. I think Jack tried to make his own crude element. But he was never smart enough to really pull it off. Classroom wash stations kept very clean. Safety laws have something to do with that. Come to think of it, it smells very fresh. Like it was used or cleaned recently. It's odd. Storage camp of classroom materials have been left unlocked and open. Everything was labelled so things can't be misplaced. It looks like some uh, iron oxide was taken. Maybe Sartain forgot to lock it up. I didn't do chemistry, I done physics, and I can't remember what iron oxide would do. Holy crap! What was that noise? It used to be Vanessa's locker. Her sister was in another wing. See faint remains of writing across the old locker door. Oh, that's awful. Someone wrote slut in huge letters. It's barely visible now, but I can still make it out. Writing so old, it's probably from when we were here. I had no idea anyone did this. Dark up here, and it's starting to feel really cold. Wait a minute, our old homeroom was in this hallway. Maybe Flynn went there. So I want rusty looking old water fountain, just like always. It's got a small, steady leak. Don't want budge, don't think it's important anyway. Beer balls here. One of the. D I just, is that blood all over the wall? <laughs> anyway, sorry, back to it. Um. Is that blood? Wow, it's an old home room. Alright. Too dark to see much. But appears the same. Something smells off in here though. Like someone forgot their lunch over the weekend. Jesus! Fucking bollocks. <coughs> this is the teacher's desk. Didn't see her old home room teacher at the reunion. I wonder if she's still here. Whatever was written here has been covered by dozens of angry chalk scratches, making the board illegible. This is my old desk. It's been scratched all over with deep cuts. It's probably somebody set about it with a pickaxe in. A group of empty beer bottles with yellow labels. Blue pack of cheap cigarettes. Hello, Jackie. Oh god, it's Jack. I'm pretty sure it is. The head's been completely disfigured and the innards are everywhere. It's like he was pulled inside out. The note shoved into Jack's shirt. It's covered in blood. I can still make out parts of it. You should have st stopped when I told you. Some kind of keyring? Kind of thing a custodian would carry. This is awful. What the hell's going on? Need to find Flynn. But what if it was Flynn that done it? More notices and announcement, most of which the same as the ones I saw on the first floor. However, there's a new one that mentions some stolen lab supplies. What if it's referring to the open cabinet I saw in chemistry? Use the keys. What is that sound? I'll encounter unseen horrors that are hunting her. Watch to see if she's never so the room is unnaturally cold. If Holly gets too close, enemies will see her. She can use dark places like this one, however, to hide. Her stamina meter will vibrate and change colour depending on how close something is. The lights around her will react as well. When enemies are dangerously close, her heart will pound. If Holly runs while her heart is pounding, they'll hear her. Where are you? Can 
usually stroll this way, the door locked. Well, shit, use the keys, please. No, okay. Nope, diggity dang it. Real casual -like. Shit, I gotta keep moving. <laughs> the hell was that? Felt so cold, it's like my hands were going numb. Did that thing kill Jack? Need to calm down. It's not going to help if I start freaking out. Wait a minute. Don't hear music anymore. I should check the gym. Yeah! Can't open the door. It just snapped shut on itself. It's insane. I have to find Flynn and get out of here. Everyone else is blocked off. I'll head outside and check the car. Flynn, Flynn, you idiot. Are you out here? Damn it. Blood all over the guardrails. When? Do I hear anything? My car has been completely told. Who could have done this? God, no, it's that thing again. It's found me. I want to hide out. I have to make a run for it. do it for this one. Good luck. Take it easy.